The surgical technique is the same as for a standard anterior cervical discectomy and fusion with or without plating. The patient is placed in a supine position with the head resting on a donut or in traction. Removal of all disc material back to the posterior annulus is taken care of and a block bone graft is inserted into the intervertebral space. Thorough decortication of the anterior aspect of the vertebral bodies with either a burr or ronger prepares a smooth, even surface for the placement of the Inion S1 plate. Implantation Use the plate templates mounted on the plate holder to determine appropriate plate size. Place the suitable size template against the bone at the intended location of the plate to confirm correct plate length and screw hole position relative to the end plates. The templates can be bent with the plate bending pliers to adapt them to the anterior bone surface. Now the correct size plate is attached to the plate holder by positioning the distal end of the plate holder in the middle hole of the plate and gently tightening the screw on the plate holder. The plate's countersinks must be proximal to the surgeon. The plate can then be easily contoured using the water bath treatment with the plate attached to the plate holder. Place the plate in the Thermo Plus water bath for approximately one minute. Thereafter, the plate can be shaped against the pre-shaped template by pressing the warm plate firmly against it. The plate can also be formed by pressing it directly on the bone to conform it to the anatomy. The plate should cool off and become stiff within 10 seconds. The plate can also be formed in free air without the plate holder by using hands or pliers. Once contouring of the plate has been completed, it can be attached to the plate holder. Before drilling, an initial starter hole for the drill has to be made. Therefore, the bone punch instrument is used. Always position the punch instrument through the drill guide. Use the special drill to create a hole for the self-tapping temporary fixation screw. The temporary fixation screw is then engaged to immobilize the plate for the secure placement of the system screws. It's recommended that two temporary fixation screws are inserted to avoid plate movement. The final screw hole is drilled using the correct size drill bit attached to a slow speed drill. The drill should be used at no more than 2000 revolutions per minute. The drill guide should be kept in its exact angle for subsequent tapping. Drills and taps are color coded according to the screw lengths. Manually tap the hole through the drill guide using the correctly sized tap attached to the screwdriver handle. Stop tapping when the tap hits the stop on the drill guide. This will avoid the risk of stripping the thread. The drill guide is used to press the plate firmly against the bone before tapping is started. Remove the temporary fixation screws and insert the final screws using the Inion screwdriver. A squeaking noise can be heard when the screw is locked to the plate. Continuing to turn the screw will risk stripping the screw socket. However, in case this happens, the screw can stay engaged as this will not compromise the fixation strength as long as the screw is fully inserted.